Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 30th, 2020. My name is Russ. I get to be your reporter for today and probably for every time you watch my broadcast. So thank you for that. I appreciate all my viewers and all my subscribers for helping me make my channel as good as it is and hopefully to get it better than it will be. To start off with things, we got Dennis Lockhart, the former president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta, saying that we're going to have a double dip recession. And basically, um, he thinks this is, this is more possible if we don't get more congressional stimulus for the people. And when it comes to stimulus, there are a couple of things, a couple of different types of stimulus. There is basically monetary, the monetary policy for stimulus, which is interest rate on all things. And then there is fiscal stimulus, which is the amount of money Congress is going to spend on the people for stimulus checks and unemployment, as well as other things like that. And on the um, unemployment, uh, on the stimulus thing right now, are stimulus checks, the tax of unemployment and eviction uh, moratorium that expired last month are not even being considered just quite yet. Let's see here. But that's the only reason because Congress thinks that taking their nice little paid vacation of one month is more important than helping the people out, which is very wrong because just because the, I think, what is it? Mitch McConnell is worth $35 million dollars. Just because he has $35 million, he's not going to care about the people that actually put him in office. Well, I hate to say this. I mean, if we don't have an election where we can actually vote a president in, whether it be Trump or Biden, guess who gets to step in as acting president? Nancy Pelosi. And I don't know if we want to have Nancy Pelosi in as acting president because of the fact that she has been slacking so hard on trying to get the people money. She's lied to us already. She already said that she would never vote on a standalone bill. Well, she already proved herself as a liar and a hypocrite on the Saturday that passed a while ago where they voted on the USPS bill, which allocated $25 billion to the United States Postal Service to keep it afloat and running. Whereas Louis DeJoy, the, basically the head honcho of uh, USPS has been shutting down mail sort machines, taking out those blue mailboxes, and basically trying to close down the uh, post office in lieu of the election so Trump can win because guess who put him in that position? Donald Trump. And also talking about Donald Trump to help TV an idea of good stimulus policy and money. A long time ago, Donald Trump basically said, I can't, I, I can't currently find this video footage, but I know it's out there. But Donald Trump said that he could walk up to anyone and put a bullet in their head and get away with it because his best friend, the attorney general of the United States will protect him as he has been doing since he got put into office. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want a president that has that much power where he can get away with killing someone and not have to worry about paying the consequences because that's what Donald Trump is doing at this present time. He is slacking on the stimulus checks. He has basically killed more people because of the FEMA disaster relief fund has been sucked dry because of him. And he's putting people homeless and he's gonna, as soon as his uh, extended unemployment of three weeks expires, people are gonna go back to where they were. And that's not a good thing. But enough on that one <laughs> before, I, before I get you incited against Donald Trump or, in, or against me in case you actually support Donald Trump. In fact, negotiations for the second stimulus check, extension of unemployment, and eviction protection are at a standstill. Some states are considering passing their own legislation. For example, North Carolina is proposing a, a sending a stimulus check to at least of at least two hundred bucks to parents that have school aged children. Now, I got to admit, now that's a good state, North Carolina. They they want to give parents with school-aged children an extra $20 bonus a week to help them out to cover expenses. I actually like that idea. I mean, I know there's a lot of states out there that probably won't be doing that idea, but they're also allocating this money for the extra $200 a week. Sorry, extra $200. I'm not sure if it's a week or a month from North Carolina, 
but they're getting that from the um, CARES Act money that was allocated to the state. And Montana has announced that it will be kicking in the additional $100 for its residents on the unemployment extension. So basically, Montana's residents will be getting a $400 unemployment check for three weeks and that's it because that's all there is that's all the money there is inside the fema disaster relief fund that was allocated to the extension of unemployment and we still haven't heard anything for much from uh nebraska and if they're going to apply or not for the extended unemployment they're basically still being quiet and undecided but we do have 40 states that have applied and I will actually put up a map of these states so you can actually see which states have applied, which ones haven't. And you're going to see the red state, Nebraska, that has not yet uh, applied or decided to apply yet. So please take a good look at this little map I'm going to provide you guys and hopefully it gives you the information you need so you know that you're going to get $300 in unemployment, $400 unemployment, or if you're still in the application process or if you're going to get nothing. So please take this look at this map and then if you have any comments or questions for me, please throw them down that comment and question bar below. If you do like my content, I do ask you guys to please give me a big old fat thumbs up to let me know so my content can get out to other viewers. And if you wish to have more of my content, and I hope you do, um, please hit that subscribe button and let me know by turning your notifications on. And I will pump out as much information as I can for you guys. That is very important because everything with information I give is for you guys so you guys can know how much longer you have to survive on a government that don't care. But until then, like I said, I am Russ, I am your reporter, and this is the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of Sunday, August 30th, 2020. You guys have a magnificent day. Excuse me. Try to at least put some food in your stomachs if you, if you can. Stay out of the weather and be safe out there. Bye.